the jets are coming back, the mission is changing. And while MPs debate the value of the Liberals' plan, they're also looking for answers. You have to have an exit strategy. You have to say what the purpose of the mission is. The Foreign Affairs Minister responded that the purpose, in fact success, would mean the coalition eradicating ISIS. Which the NDP said would mean Canadian forces will be fighting ISIS for years. At times, the debate seemed to stray into turf of a familiar fairy tale. Canada has gone cold in the fight against ISIS, say the Conservatives. This is the fight of our generation and we're no longer in it. On the contrary, warned the NDP, this is too hot. This government is placing Canadian forces personnel deeper into frontline combat. Leaving the Liberals to argue that their plan is just right. We're choosing to end that role in airstrikes so that we can better focus on uh, the next steps in the fight against ISIL. But why is it better? For months, the Liberals pointed to the election, saying they had promised this to Canadians. They wanted to see a, a, a ceasing of the bombing mission. Minister of National Defence. Today, the Defence Minister also suggested bombing wasn't as effective anymore. Airstrikes were effective in targeting, but the enemy also learns from our lessons. And in a particularly Canadian moment, the debate strayed into hockey analogies. The Conservatives argue that pulling the CF-18s is like taking Wayne Gretzky off the ice. The Liberals responded that a more accurate analogy was that in this coalition fight, the United States is Wayne Gretzky, but Canada can still be a good teammate. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.